Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome, welcome to my home. This is Charlotte. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, the index card this week is um, something that I had seen, I believe, on Pinterest and fell in love with the idea. So simple, but there's your index card. I did put some... Um, Finnabar Wax by uh, Prima on this, and you can see the lavender. This one I did not put any wax on, but I did make two. So um, they're completely different. Different looks. You can do a lot to the back. Great for Happy Mail. Would be really, really pretty in a journal. And yes, this does open up. So you could put little pockets on the inside if you wanted, but this is what we are making. Fairly simple this week. My uh, mojo wasn't hitting me well, so there's just so much going on. And no, I still don't have air conditioning. Yes, we are starting to panic about that. Um, okay, so you could probably do this with a 6x6, six six, easy. Uh, would be smaller than this, obviously. Um, this is an 8x8. And the finished envelope with an 8x8 is going to be uh, 5.5 by 4.5. And, and I did cut the flap off. You could leave the flap on if you wanted, but um, the one I had seen had no flap, so... What we're going to create is not going to have a flap. So here is my 8x8. Eight eight. I need to find the center. So what I'm going to do is fold this up corner to corner and then just kind of pinch what I'm thinking is the center and then turn it over, do the same thing yet again. Just like this and pinch it and that's going to give you an idea hopefully you can see that right there if you have any trouble catching that just use a pencil and hopefully I've got it right there so then you're going to decide which way you want this to go if you have a pattern, what pattern you want it to be. So I am thinking, I love these roses. So I think, yep, I am going to go this way. So you're going to bring that point right in there to your mark. And then you're going to burnish your edge because this is going to be the side of your envelope. And you're going to turn it around. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side with those points touching. This is pretty heavy cardstock. I believe this is Prima. I'm not positive, but I believe this is Prima. So now we've got this. We need our flap that folds up. I eyeball this. I just pull it up. And as far as I think I want it to go, I eyeball it. And then again, you're going to burnish your edges. And then you've got this here. We don't want that. I don't want that. You can keep that if you want. But let me show you, if I keep it, what that's going to look like. So we are going to cut these corners off because we don't want them. You'll see your triangle. You'll see your marks. And you're going to cut just inside your fold lines. And you're going to do it on both sides. I know it's probably difficult for you to see mine. But they're there. So there's one side. And here's the other. So if I don't cut this off, this is what you're going to have. This will fold up. These will fold in. So if you like that, by all means, keep it. I um, don't like it. So what I'm going to do is take my ruler 
And I'm going to line my ruler up with this corner here and here. And then I'm going to draw a line. And I know this pattern, I didn't pick the greatest pattern, did I? I'm going to take my pencil, make my mark, and then I'm going to cut that off. And I did this with one of the others, and my cutting was not at all straight. But see, I just, I like that look. Now, you can proceed with this looking like this. I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to do the exact same thing, but without the pencil and with my cutter. So I'm going to line my marks up on my cutter instead of with the ruler just like that and then I'm going to cut this and you're going to save that piece because you can make your circles out of that or you could make um, tabs tags so this is what we're going to have I'm going to round the, these corners as well I want those rounded. I don't need them to be sharp like that. And this is just going to make a cute little envelope. Now, the other ones I distressed. But with this pretty paper, I'm not going to distress. Um, I'm thinking if I did distress, though, it would give you a better outline. Now, wouldn't it? See how it just kind of pops your edges up? I did not distress on this one. So um, let's distress the top and see what we get. Get my ink, my dauber. Okay, let's distress. Yep, it just kind of is like, okay, I'm here. Look at me. So I'm going to go ahead and distress. And how is everyone? It is Friday. Another week is coming and going. I am filming on Thursday. Tonight we go see Allie. Her last concert. It's amazing to me when I say the last the last high school concert and I don't have any idea where the time has gone so it goes fast guys it goes the little ones grow up I know Roseanne takes care of her little grandbabies a couple times a week and um, I keep telling her, they grow up so fast. I know they can exhaust you. And sometimes you're just like, oh my gosh. But then you think about the day will come when they'll be in school. You won't be sitting them. And you won't see them as often. Yeah, okay, I do like that. Yep, you won't see them as often. So it's kind of scary. All right, now here you have options. You could put little pockets here on these sides. You could do something with this down here. You could adhere an index card to the back of this if you wanted. We're not going to be doing any of those things, but you could do them. So what we are going to do is, and I think this might be easier for me to see, we're going to make a card to go in here, but we are not um, doing all the little embellishments just because of time. But you can do much more to this idea than what I'm showing you. So now we need a card. So I've got matching paper here. And this is the dilemma. I could do the opposite of this and have this be the card. 
that just really kind of blends in, or I could have this be the card, which absolutely blends in. So you're going to have to make your mind up as to um, the look that you want. And I think just because this paper is so beautiful, I am going to uh, make that the front. So we're going to get our glue out. And I have a new bottle. Yay. I actually ordered on Amazon glue bottles. And I'll show you what I got. And the bottles that came are bigger than this one. But I prefer this side. I think just because I'm used to it. That really is what it is, is just what I'm used to using. And so what I got is, are these, see, there's a, there's a really big difference. This one's taller, this one holds more, but the caps are the same. So I took the cap off my old one and, um, threw it away and then put a new cap and you can just tell by the color but I want to show you what I got because um yeah I think these came yesterday and look at all this <laughs> look at all that so I think I'm going to be sharing because there's no way there's just no way um, I don't know. Maybe I didn't read. Does it say in here how 12? Yeah, I may have known that. 12. When I ordered them, it didn't seem like much. I think they were like $7.99 is what I paid. So, wasn't anything I was going to really concern myself with. I just needed the glue bottle. So, anyway, yeah. That's a little story for you, not a big deal. So we're gonna cut this out. I've already cut some circles to make my tabs, my little closures. And I took a punch and it is this one here and it's a one inch punch. If I had a half an inch, maybe I would have used a half an inch. So here is this, and I think we're going to do tabs. We'll do tabs on the other side. So let's go ahead and punch our tabs. And for that, I am using, ooh, that's a pretty tab, but we're not going to use that. To punch the tabs, I am using the tab. I'm pretty sure I got that at Hobby Lobby a very, very long time ago. Very long time ago. Because I have had that for years. So we'll distress this. Distress this, and I think distress... The front side of the index card, but not the index card. And I don't think I distressed the uh, index card on the other two. Pretty sure I didn't do that. Okay. So, I think this might be the prettier side. Let's get this down. It is a quick project, but it's a cute project, and I think it's got several possibilities. And that's what I like. You can do way more with this project than what I'm showing. So just let your imagination run wild. I liked the idea of the Front flaps, I thought that was really cute. And this week I needed something fairly easy because there's just too much happening. It was just one of those. Also, now you could add something up here if you wanted. You could add um, Word 
You can trim your corners off. And this is gonna go in like that. And you still have up there a little bit of a difference. So it's pretty cute. All right, so now we're gonna take our circles and I doubled them. This is pretty, pretty decent cardstock. And I think we are going to Let me see. I was pretty sure I was going to go that route, but now I'm not so sure. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to show the roses. So that's a pretty design. Yep, let's do that. So we're going to put these together. This is just simply for um, just a little added strength. And you can see on uh, the one, I'll show it to you, I had done little hearts because I had little hearts. And I just thought, ooh, those would be cute. So I did little hearts. I did flowers on this one. You can see that there. And I did little hearts on this one. And um, I thought that was really cute. But then I thought, ooh, is it kind of Valentine-y looking? I mean, you can have hearts any time, but, but we're not doing hearts on this one. I think we might do something. Do we want to do flowers? Let me think. Okay, you need your crocodile or something that is going to allow you to punch some holes right in the center if you're going to use brads. And that's what we're using. We're using brads. So I'm going to kind of eyeball what I think is the center. And then we are done with that. There's our holes. I'm going to use my awl to... Uh, poke where I want that and let's see what options do we have we've done hearts we've done flowers I don't have anything glittery in pink would green look good no there's no green in there there's no blue in there so I really thought that might be cute but we're not going to do that so let's see, that's the hearts, but I do have tiny little glittery pink. So let's see if I can find two of those, two of those. I've got orange, blue, green, just need another pink. All right, let's see. We are looking for one of these. That would be perfect. And I don't think I have another one. Can you believe that? Just one more. There's a peachy colored one. Kind of a pink, a, 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 kind of an orange. Is, or is this pink? Nope. Orange. I've got purple, I've got yellow, and I've got green. Well, maybe we're supposed to use hearts. Is this a pink? It's kind of an orange, and it looks orange, so that's not going to work. No, I do not have one. So, all right, it's going to be hearts then. Let's see if we've got a pink heart. Similar to, oh my goodness, who would have thought this would be so hard? Okay, similar to this. Let's go with that then. Oop, there we go. Is that the same? Hold on, we're going to look and see. What a shame. I really wanted some glitter. Is that the same? No. Come on, Charlotte. Pink. All right, I think here's two darker colored pinks. Are these the same? 
think so. Yep. All right, we'll use that. Okay, then. There you go. We'll use that. So let's put these where we want them. And see where that's going to be. You know, I don't measure. I will be happy with just eyeballing. So we've got that one, that one, I think they look pretty similar. Yep, there we go. Now, can I see my, can I see my marks? No. I mean, come on, it wasn't going to be that difficult. All right, let's go again. We've got that right there. We've got that. Does that look even? Right there. Yep. Okay. We're good now. All right. So I get the all out. Poke a hole. Poke a hole on this one. We should be good. Get our little heart brad. And off we go. Just like that. And separate these little guys. And repeat. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Hope Phyllis is doing well. Hope Jane feels good. Hope Gigi feels better. All right, now if you want, you can put a piece of uh, washi tape on there or anything that you might want. Look at, isn't that so cute? Really, really cute. But let's do the washi tape because I just think it looks cuter. So do we want, let's do floral. And because it is washi and it does not stay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. We're just going to tear it. We're not going to measure it. We could use our distress tape on this that we made. We could if it was here. I don't know where it is. I put it away. And I don't know what that means. I put it away somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. And I don't mind when you open this up seeing washi tape like that. That does not bother me at all because I just think it's pretty. So you can have this shut and this will slide right in here. So you do not have to open that up to get that in there. And I think we will, let's put this away because we are done with this. And I don't need a big clog. Put this away. We don't need that. And now we need some kind of string, some kind of thread. And I think I am going to reach for this here, Ecru uh, Cotton Pearl DMC. I think we're going to use this. So what I'm going to do is go underneath this little disc that we created like that and I'm going to tie a knot so that it won't pull out. Did I leave myself enough of anything to tie a knot? I should have. Here we go. There we go. You can leave this tail or you can snip it off. So we've got that. And then we're just going to close this little cutie up just by going underneath the disc and just kind of doing our figure eight like this. And you leave as much of a tail as you want. 
It's your envelope and your make, and I think that's good. And then you'll see this should slide right in here. And as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking this needs a little something. So what, why are my words? The words are like the go-to. I don't think I want black. And I have, let's see, white or I think white. This is um, out of the, the um, grabby box, the words. Oh, the uh, latest, the grabby box from April. So let's see what we've got that we think will fit. Whispers in the breeze. Let's use that. And I don't want to have to get my uh, tweezers out. So let's see. We'll make this work. And here we go again with the glue. And I could go ahead and ink the edges, but I'm not going to. Whispers in the breeze, I like that. And I'm going to put it towards the top just because I feel like something up there needs to catch your eye. That's perfect. I love that. So there'll be three to pick from next week. And I love that. So let's just look again what we made. Isn't that so pretty? And like I said, you have options. You can do all sorts of things with these guys. And no, I did not distress, but I did put this upside down. But it's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. And then this one here with the, with the wax. That is this one here. It smells good, too. So these are the makes for uh, this week. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me if you do that for me. Um, so we've got six guys of last week's makes. Remember, I had gotten on a ball, was on a roll. So let's go. All right. This one here, I may end up mess, uh, mixing them up. They're all basically the same anyway, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, Margaret Fisher. Margaret Fisher, the sweet make is yours. And um, just want to let you know, I do have the address for So Crafty Nana. I promise to get this in the mail um, hopefully I'll get these mailed out tomorrow. That's the only thing. Everything else is mailed. So, all right, let's do it. So, all right, we have the, uh, Bichon Babe, the Bicon, the Bicon Babe. I do not have your address, so if you are watching, I need that. And this one here, we get through our names and we will start all over again. Um, Teresa Benefit. Benefit, I um, don't have your address either, so hopefully you are watching. A lot of new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. It's always nice to have you. Okay, how about Karen Allen? Karen Allen is also new. So Karen, please, please just go into my Etsy shop. Let me have your address. That's what, that way it is private. Okay, how about Scrappy Mim, M-I-M? Also need an address. Scrappy Mim. Okay, two more. I don't want to be having to give all these away again next week, guys. Kimberly Malloy, I don't have your address either. 
So, boy, we are just batting a uh, different number this week. I hope we're not giving all of these away again next week. Quilts Mom, I do not have your address either. So, guys, I don't know what that's going to look like. Uh, but thank you, thank you for joining me. Be sure if you comment on Index Card Friday and you are interested in a win that you let me know where you live because I can't get it in the mail if I don't know where to put it. Uh, I will get out the one from last week. I promise that will go tomorrow. So have a great weekend, everyone. You probably won't see me until Monday. Take care. Be safe. Enjoy great weather. Praying for the uh, fires up in our uh, northern Canada and all our friends. So big hugs and prayers. Bye, guys.